Well, you have heard of fat labeling on foods. Well, how about fat labeling on clothing? I kid you not, one British professor thinks he is on to something. His idea, go ahead and sell warning labels under plus size clothing to remind people that they're fat. And that's not all. The label would have an obesity helpline phone number to call. Wouldn't that make your day pleasant? My next guest is outraged about this one. She is Wendy Kaufman, the creator of her own clothing line, wendywear.com. You might also know her as the Snapple Lady. Shy and unassuming, we thought we'd uh, stick her brain on <laughs> What do you think of this? I'm outraged. It is so insulting. People are so intolerant. And all right, so we're a little larger. So we make maybe for a better target here and there. but. Come on already. You know, if they do this to people who are 14, 16s, and 18s, don't they have to address, Neil, zeros, twos, and fours? Because honestly, shouldn't the label say, warning, the person that may be in this particular item of clothing could be anorexic, bulimic, and purge? So if you're putting you know, number, you know, labels on things, so let's name them A, B, and C. Anorexics, bulimics, chubbets. It's the scarlet letter. What's going on here? Now, obviously, they're saying they're doing it for your own good or to say, look, eat healthy, be careful. This is what's become of you. What do you think? What, I don't look in the mirror every day and I got to put a label on no, my clothes? You look very lovely, Wendy. I mean, you, you, don't, know, you just find it insulting. It is so beyond insulting, and I don't understand, you know, by whose standard are we having to live our lives these days? You know, live and let live. I mean, that's really what it's all about. People shouldn't be telling people what to do because chances are, you know, everybody has something in their lives that they're working with because we are just people. And whether it be a weight problem, whether it be an eating disorder, smoking, drinking, you know, you had Miss America, you know, Miss Teen America, you know, the, that whole tumult today. Yeah, what did you think of that today. Miss USA thing? You know what, she's a beautiful woman, and I'm glad that he gave her a second chance because I believe in second chances all the time. But sometimes people fail, and that's what makes makes us human, but this intolerance towards people who are different than you, what are we going to make a class of people that are either obese or too thin? Well, you know what I think it is, Wendy, and, and we've chatted about this before, I, I think, you know, rapping on fat people has become the last accepted prejudice. Well, I, I think it's disgraceful because, you know what, there are more of us out there. And that's the thing. If you're going to start labeling things, Neil, then let's get down to it. And let's label the casino. And let's label, you know, the alcohol. And let's label the computer. Because all of those things. What do you think of putting things, warnings on cigarettes? You want to know, well, warnings have been on cigarettes right. for years now. Does it work? Do people know that smoking is no good? Do you think I'm going to put on my size 20 clothing and call the helpline and say, you guys, you know, I just happen to throw on my size 20 clothing. So in the size zero person you'd warn, look, you're the size of a Barbie doll, literally not good. You know, it's it's all no good, but if you're going to call it what it is, then you know what? you got to do it both sides. The thing that I'm so concerned about is that all the people who are normal, you know, are going to worry because either, they, you know, like they're going to have to live through their lives worried about, oh my God, what happens if I'm a size 10 and I go to a label. You know, it's going to give people a body issue where there was no body issue to but begin with. But there's an with. arrogance to it, isn't there, putting a label on someone's clothing? Listen, uh, I've like been labeled. Like a scarlet letter. It, it is, like I said that before, because I've been labeled my whole life. And until you get to know me, if you're going to label me, fine, go label me. But you know what? It's your loss. Yeah. If you label me and you don't get to meet me and to know me, and it's just, you know, when people come over and point at me and say, oh, she's fat. I mean, you know what? Is that a reflection of me? Or is it a re reflection tell of the person that's Tell them next time it? they do that, tell them to go to hell. You know? Oh, all I right. do it all the Wendy, time. <laughs> always good seeing oh, you. Oh, wait, and I have something for you. As long uh -oh. as we're talking labels, me Neil, right. how much do I hey, love you? And they are, this. and with a warning label on warning. it. <laughs> See that? They come with a warning. All right. The food police are going to go nuts. <laughs> I'm an all equal right. opportunity oh, offender. Okay. I'm not sharing this with anyone here. You My yodels.